Good afternoon, everybody. So if you're watching this video, you're probably asking yourself, should I buy a pop-up camper? You're probably asking yourself like maybe three questions. Should I buy it? Will I use it? Where will we go in it? Well, I figured in this video, I could either tell you or show you. So that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna talk about, should you buy a pop-up camper? And I'm gonna tell you a story about it. Pretty excited about this. See, it took me and Samantha about three years to this, come to this conclusion. A conclusion that, yes, you'll probably want to buy a pop-up camper, and here's why. See, there are certain things in this world, certain items, certain things you'll buy in your lifetime that will change your life, your adventure, and make life like you're a kid again. The first one, I've talked about it many a times, was my kayak. The next one was a surfboard. And probably the next one was a camera just like this you're seeing. And they were purchases that made me get up, made me go find something fun to do and have an adventure. And for me, I happened to videotape it. Well, about three years ago, we actually vlogged it here on this channel. I'll link it right here. Samantha and I, we decided we were gonna get a pop-up camper. We're like, you know what? We need some adventure in our life. We need to go out and do some things. Let's kick around some really cool places to go and let's get out there and do it. So we started looking on Facebook Marketplace. We found us a pop-up camper in Orange Beach and we decided to cruise on over there and get it. Well, pop-ups are really hard to find. So when we found one, we had to jump on it quick. It was actually during the winter. We went over there, we got it. Samantha decided she wanted to make it ours and do all the upholstery. So this is what it looked like once we got done with it. It was ours now. We spent about two or 300 bucks on fabric. I had some leftover flooring that we picked up from one of my uh, rental houses and we refloored it. We made it ours. See, this camper is just like a 2007 Jayco. Nothing fancy, nothing spiffy. It's the old crank handle and you know what? It even smelled a little bit by, about mold, but you know what? After being in it a while, we realized that smell of the mild mold was the smell of adventure. See, this thing allowed us to, on a Friday afternoon, hook up, pick some place on the map, Fort Pickens, Blackwater, to take it to Orlando, to Tampa, to Atlanta if we wanna go. Heck, we could be in the Smoky Mountains in six or seven hours. That is the idea of it, that we were able to pick a spot, hook it up, take off with it, have about 30 minutes to set up, and we were on an adventure. No cell phones, no problems, nobody chasing us down, no media, no craziness of all the drama from back home. It was a mini vacation in a weekend. From Friday to Sunday, it was just our time. We knew that 2800 bucks or whatever we paid for this thing was really not a big deal. We thought we could get our money back with it if we didn't like it. But if we did like it, it would change our paradigm, change our lifestyle. And it really did. See, money is really not a thing. Can't take it with us. Really, the only thing we have in the end is our memories. That's it. The rest of it's going to be squabbled over by our kids or friends and family. So I said, this is well worth it. And after we had spent enough time with a sunrise, a sunset, and a cup of coffee and something cold to drink, this was the cheapest form of vacation we could have ever thought of. See, there are really about three or four things that separate the pop-up camper from the rest of the RV world. One is its versatility. See, I got a Toyota Tacoma and uh, it's got a V6 in it, but you really don't want to put too much on it. You know, 3,000 pounds is pushing it. You don't feel it back there. It's going to be, it's going to be back there. So, you know, my pop-up camper is a little less than 2,000 pounds. With all the beer and all the other stuff we take with it, we're probably at 2,000 pounds, which we can just slide in the actual, you know, storage spot inside the camper as we take off. But it'll pack down pretty quick. It'll, it'll unfold pretty quick. It will fit in our little spot beside the house um, and fairly easy. It doesn't take up a lot of room. And when we're traveling down the road, it travels pretty well. I don't have this big thing behind me uh, that I can't see the rest of the cars, the wind doesn't catch it, and it seems to work pretty well. And as far as setup, me and Samantha can set this thing up in about 25 minutes 
But I'll tell you this, some of the b biggest arguments we've ever gotten into was setting up this pop-up camper. But once we got our order of work all put together and kind of mapped out strategically, she does her thing, I do mine, and we get it put up pretty fast. Really the awning is the thing that really drags us out. We just make sure we keep everything lubricated. We check it before we go. And uh, while we're there, we work on some things just to make sure it's ready to go the next time. Um, we just make sure, try to never put it up wet and try to do it with a smile on your face. If you have a couple beers while you're putting it up, it tends to make it a little easier. See, when we decided to get a pop-up camper, our thing was we were tired of sleeping in a tent with no AC, no heat. I did that a long time in the Army, and I said I wasn't going to do that anymore. I did professionally. Camping professionally for long enough, you don't want to do that anymore. So I didn't really want to get into a big RV because we didn't really have a place to put it. Uh, you know, it wouldn't sleep that many people, you know, the big hard-sided ones. You know, maybe four was that, that was it. Our pop-up camper, we've put five, six, seven people in there. You can fold, you know, the the benches out and you, you've got, I think we've got a twin and a queen, which is pretty awesome. So what winds up happening is our friends can go with us. They can meet us there. We've even taken it to Orlando, Tampa, met other friends from the other direction, South Florida, met them there. They stay with us and we're able to have one big party away from home. Um, we've taken it to uh, Orlando and Tampa to go to the theme parks. We've taken it to uh, see baseball games and it allows us to stay for a long amount of time for fairly cheap and that's pretty cool. We just pay our grounds fees and, and since most places have a bathroom where we're going and showers, we just use that and don't worry about having it in our RV or camper and having to clean out all that black water or any of the waste that that tends to happen. So we have had no problem using just the camper or the pop-up camper. We don't really live where there's bears, so we don't have to worry about a bear opening like a can opener or just stripping down the side of the tent. So that's pretty, you know, that's been pretty awesome too. And we try to go places where there's not a lot of theft, <laughs> you know, because you're not really locking up a zip up, okay? You can lock it, it's got a key, but it's not what you think, okay? But so that's really the thing. I wanted to tell the story of kind of what it's like to have a camper, a pop-up camper, and if you're on the fence, should you get it? And if you're debating whether you get a pop-up camper or an RV, well, there's pros and cons for both, depending on how many you wanna sleep, where you're going, what you're pulling it with. But as for a pop-up camper, hey, it's a very minimal investment to get into RVing. It'll open up a million different places to go, seeing do. Uh, it, uh, it'll pack away in your side yard. Odds are your car is gonna pull it or your truck. It's not, you know, you're not gonna burn a ton of gas to go a long ways. If you just keep them well maintained and, and buy a good one, don't buy one that's beat up and you gotta fix it or it's been neglected or abused. Buy one that is in good condition, and just needs a little love. And I guarantee you, you're gonna have fun with it. Uh, you can make these things uh, as nice or whatever as you want. You can redo fabrics, you can redo the cushions, you can do all this stuff and Samantha's had a blast doing it. Check out the videos where we've renovated the, the pop-up camper here and here and I'll link them below. Um, if you're looking for something that might change your life and make you like live the weekends like a kid again, like you're a teenager, just do it. And if you don't like it, get rid of it. Also, before you leave, one last thing. If you're moving to Florida or you're looking to come here to the Gulf Coast and stay, having to be a realtor here in the state of Florida. So if you need a place, let me know. My email is in the description box. This truly is paradise and it's right out your front door. But that's my thought on it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later.